Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner and this is a demystification video. In this video, I'll be demystifying the difference between PHP, Laravel, Drupal, WordPress, Wix, Shopify, and how they all relate. You understand? So at the end of this video, you should be able to tell the difference between PHP, Laravel, raw php kick php drupal wordpress and have your mind cleared up all right so uh hitch on the ride and let's get through with this so php is a programming language invented in 1993 for building websites you understand so from there some people figured out that writing just php directly like right that like that would take you a lot of time so they decided to write custom code blocks of code that do custom things like check user validation check uh, if somebody's logged in and so on and so forth so after writing them they group them into something called the php framework so if you're using a php framework it's kind of easier to build a website using a php framework that, than just php itself because here part of the work has been done for you so example of a php framework is laravel and here are some other examples you have kick php you have raw php and if you want to access raw php it is on github.com slash raw php framework all right just visit this url the tutorial is there and everything it's a combination of laravel and kick php the good parts of it you understand so after this framework was built they now wrote a tutorial for it so that anybody can pick up this php framework and use it to build anything and here is an example of anything you can build with a php framework you have banking website you have school website, you have shopping website, account, anything you can imagine, you can use PHP frameworks to build it. And it's far easier because most custom codes has been written for you. So, an example of a PHP framework, this is Drupal, WordPress, Joomla, all, this, all these guys are kind of on the level of Laravel. But after building them, the owners of Drupal and WordPress kind of use them to build a blogging website. And this is what they market, the blogging website itself. Unlike in the case of Laravel Kick, where they don't market anything, they market the PHP framework itself. So this is how it relates, which means you can just download WordPress and start using it without ever writing any single code. The same thing with Drupal, Joomla, Shopify, Wix. You just download it and start using it directly. If you want to customize it to your own tastes there is also remember it was built with php which means it's a php framework which also means you can just jump right in and start coding so when you get in you have to take their own tutorial to see how they customize their own code and start writing php code now on top of that they have a way you can write plugins laravel kick php and also all the all the stuff they have ways you can write plugins or you understand you have a custom stuff you want to add feature you want to add they have a way you can add it all right and um there's shop fire weeks these guys were, were obviously or probably built with php frameworks but they don't allow you to actually write code so when you visit the site you have just an interface where you can just click and drag and drop and build your own platform and then have a subdomain if you're going to have a full domain you pay them which is what Drupal, WordPress, Joomla does, but Laravel, Kick, PHP, Raw PHP don't do that because they're not interested in what type of, they're not forcing you to build a specific type of website. Unlike in the case of WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, they are built already blog for you. So they're expecting you to build something that looks like a blog. So you can just go to the website of WordPress, Joomla, blogger.com, blogspot.com and start coding. So five weeks and um, blogspots or blogger are on the same level in the sense that they don't allow you to write codes you understand but in Drupal WordPress Joomla they actually expose the source code to you so you can see actually how they built this blog and use it to build your own write codes directly so if you want to learn more about this you go to youtube.com slash c slash that's my youtube channel and learn more all these things that have been discussed I've covered them for instance, uh, there's a blogging tutorial for beginners. Just go to the URL I told you or search for Brain Temp Tutorial TV, Brain Temple Tutorial TV on YouTube and you access it. And make sure that when you visit, you first of all hit on subscribe and you will see the blogging tutorial on my playlist. Just click on playlist, search for blogging tutorial. There's a, here's a search button here, that blogging tutorial. And if you want to learn Laravel, I also have Laravel. Just hit on playlist 
and search for Laravel tutorial for beginners. You have a Laravel tutorial that will usher you into Laravel. I have Cake PHP, and um, just search for Cake PHP tutorial. There are several Cake PHP tutorials. I've made uh, more than thirty of them, and of course, I have over three hundred and seventy-four video tutorials for you on different topics. Make sure that once you visit this channel, the first thing you do is hit on subscribe. And how to visit it is go to your YouTube and put slash c slash printm org and you are there on the channel or you just search for this on youtube and learn more so let me know what you think and let me know what you eventually choose and if you have any problem anytime feel free to contact me on this email if you want me to join your team i'm always free to join your team and help you build awesome stuff see you guys so that's me see you guys in the next video